Hi everyone. Uh, as you can see, I already taken apart my center console here. So uh, let me explain what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to be installing an always-on USB charger in this area, maybe right there in the middle or in this area here. You gotta see where would be the best spot for it. But anyways, I went ahead and took my shift knob off. Just twist it, it'll come off, and then um, pry this one up, pull it out. And now I'm taking this this one off. Got a pry right here. So um, you can check out my um, frac installation video. In there, I explain how to take this thing apart. So this this wires you see here, these are for my uh, frac switches. So normally you wouldn't have these to deal with. Okay, I got this. So I got this panel out. And I'm gonna take it apart. I'm gonna disconnect all these cables here. So I'm gonna go and uh, play with it at the bench. Okay, so here's the uh, charger I'm planning to use. from Amazon. That's what it looks like. So I see you can use this uh, anywhere but I like the uh, color so that's why I went with it. So as you can see here if I put it here it's, it's not big enough. Uh, that space is too small for it. It's not gonna fit. So I'm gonna have to find another spot. So a little bit over an inch. Okay, since there's no uh, good spot to add the new uh, charger, I went ahead and popped this one out. So I'm sacrificing one cigarette lighter type power source. This thing was a pain to take off, so um, use a flat tip screwdriver and just keep pushing on the back here there's a little tab on the left on the right just keep pushing one side push it through and then push it down and then push the other side kind of you gotta push it really hard test fit so it look like I'm going to need to uh, I'm going to have to uh, make it a little bit bigger Just tiny bit. Okay, so I can use this type of bit. Go just another notch. So there's no turning back. <laughs> Gotta make it work after that. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna, gonna be doing. Okay, so I'm gonna make the hole a little bit bigger. Do it slow. If it's too big, it's going to be hard to fix, so I'm going to do a little at a time. I'm doing this side too. Ah, look at that. Okay, so. So that's a one and one eighth. To make it tight fit, it's one and one eighth. And then 
Let me see how this would fit in the back here. Wow, so this not fit inside the, uh, the groove, fit inside the uh, slot nicely. Let's see, so it gotta be, so it's like that, so. Check that out. Let's see if you can see that. So in the uh, box with the uh, USB charger, get these two connectors here. So the next thing I'm going to do is to add a new fuse box for um, you know accessory I'm going to be adding in the future. So I'm going to add one of these. Okay, so I found a spot for the uh, fuse box that's not going to be in the way of the uh, support rod here for the uh, hood. So that's where I'm going to put it. I'm, I put a double-sided tape to mount it on there so I can drill through the uh, firewall here without having this thing moving around on me. So let's just keep it tight for now. Also got the painter's tape back there. Okay, I stuff a piece of cloth there, a towel, a rag, so that way when I, if I drop a screw or stuff. So I'm going to apply some touch-up paint to the area, to the uh, hole that I drill. So that way it won't get rusted. So in case you're wondering, the drill bit I was using was 1 8 and I got the uh, number 8 screw here. I'm going to have to go with number 10 and an inch and a quarter. This is number 8, 1 inch. And by the way, this uh, fuse box didn't come with one of these, so you'll have to pick it up. This is the uh, connector for your positive power cable. Okay, so this part will go There you go. It'll work.
way it up. Okay, so it's gonna look like that. So battery's that way, so it's gonna be mounting like that, and this one route to the battery. connect to the uh Okay, so the next step is to uh, get the cable through to the firewall. Get the cable through the firewall. So I have this uh, rod here that I use to run cable with. If you don't have this, you can use the uh, clothes hanger and some of the uh, soap on it, make it slippery. And I cut a little uh, slit on this side here there's two sides to this rubber grommet that you're going through so i cut the outside i push it through with this rod this rod has a, a pointed tip at the end and then i just poke it through puncture the uh the inner layer so right now it's already gone through so i can move it in and out so this rod here you can pick this up from low so wherever uh, home depot comes in handy for pulling cable through uh tight spaces and for this situation here so I've used it a few times and it's paid for itself so next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie my wire to the end of these um, tape it to the end of these and, and then just pull it through and that should be easy so this rod come in several sections you see two and a half feet per section or something like that I'm going to take one section out. OK. 
Okay, so I'll take a closer look right here. Tape up the uh, the end of it so make sure it's you know make a smooth uh, pull when I pull it through. Inside the engine, inside the uh, cabin, here's the the rod that I pushed through. See right here at the end, it's pointy, it's sharp. So with a little bit of uh, soap right here, you can just push it through. And there's our cable. Be routing it okay so now it's gonna be a little bit tricky so I'm gonna have to be on my back here I moved the seat back as far as I could put a cloth on the uh, on the floor here so I can be on my back got my light in there I got zip ties and my cutter and here's a cable that comes in through the uh, firewall right there so I'm gonna try and route it without getting in the way of any of this uh, brake and accelerator pedals so I'm gonna try and do this while holding the camera so I feed it through right there you can see it I'm gonna grab this side. It's a gas pedal here and zip tie it and then hide it behind this uh, carpet here and then fish it through to the uh, center console. So that is the route I'm gonna take. Just gonna slowly pull it. Okay, so right now I'm gonna try and feed the cable from the uh, footwell onto the center console. So we can put the camera down here. So um, this one you need to have something flexible, like maybe uh, a long uh, zip ties or something, or um, wire uh, clothes hanger might work too. But my uh, fiber rod for routing the cable through the engine bay, from the engine bay is too stiff. So I couldn't use that anymore. So, you have to go in it at an angle. that white zip tie there so I'm gonna tie my uh, the end of the cable to it and pull it back okay got the end of the cable tape to the zip tie there we go so now I gotta go back down there and tidy up the uh, cable okay so this is tougher than it looks I'm trying to put the zip tie on one-handedly I managed to get one in there so, so we can do another one how about that Let's see how long that stays One hand. 
tie it up with one hand but you have to start it up with two side part of this so I'll cut it and then the rest I'll pull it so that's how it looks so I pull the cable through so I made this little short jumper cable for ground I'm going to connect it to the uh, original uh, cigarette lighter connector this here white with uh, black stripe that's ground and then I crimp on this blue connector to this my new uh, positive cable my new uh, power cable and that should be it Okay, just crimped, plug it in, all right, more otherwise it'll be too long strip it use the uh, connector that came with the uh, uh, fuse box Use this quarter inch split loom again, protect the cable. See how this see how this tape hold up. we 
should you try it out? 15, using 15 amp. Uh, so I didn't know that this one actually uh, light up too, so I wonder how much power that's gonna drain. Charging, charging, okay, put everything back together, oh I gotta wrap this up, where's the tape? So I'm wrapping this up, keep it from rattling in there. That's it. Oh, my, uh, shift knob.